Hi students, it is your librarian giving you a few personalized recommendations for books that you might consider for the book club assignment. You have 15 titles to choose from, so what do you want to read? Fiction, memoir, crime? You want to find a book that fits your taste for this assignment. So, I am recommending to you a variety just to show you the um, the range of stuff you have to choose from. This is one of the novels um, on the list that's one of my favorites. It is called Prayers for the Stolen. It's a little bit on the short side if that appeals to you. Um, this is set in Mexico in a small village where all of the men have left the village um, to seek work in America or to seek better opportunities. And the women have all been left on their own to fend for themselves. It is a very um, difficult life. Um, that's not to say the book is without humor. There are actually some very funny parts of the book, and it's, um, it's beautifully, gorgeously written. Our main character is Lady Di, who is a teenage girl. From a very young age, she has been taught to disguise herself as a boy and to make herself ugly. And this is because the narco-traficantes, the drug runners, often roll through villages and snatch women, kidnap them, um, especially young young women, teenagers, and they might be seen again and they might not be seen again. Um, so it's a harsh life, but it is um, a beautiful book, and I highly recommend this one. Some more um, fabulous fiction. In addition to novels, we have collections of short stories that you can choose from. Um, two of them I have, I'm showing you here, are Heads of the Colored People, which are all from African American points of view. So this is, um, if, if you don't want to stick with an entire novel and you don't want um, to follow the same characters through the same novel, short stories are great because they're self-contained stories and they have different narrators and different characters in each one. Um, some of the stories and Heads of the Colored People are um, very funny. Some are a lot more serious. Um, many of them have to do with um, feeling comfortable in the world or not feeling comfortable trying to fit in in the world. Um, some of the stories are a little more sophisticated in this, so I recommend that you maybe take a look at one or two of the stories um, through the ebook collection. And there were some references that I didn't understand, but I think <laughs> those are pop culture references that maybe you would understand and I didn't. Oh, and Heads of the Colored People, the ebook has a reader's guide, so that might be of interest to you. The Refugees um, is about a lot of um, Vietnamese refugees to America. Some of the stories are set in Vietnam. Um, one, the first story in the book is about um, a ghost who comes to visit. Um, I love this book, um, but again, try out some stories and see what you think. Maybe you prefer nonfiction. We do have memoirs on the list, and one of the most popular ones is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Every student who has done this assignment before has seemed to really love Trevor Noah's book. He is a comedian, so this book is extremely funny. It is set in South Africa at the end of apartheid, which was um, institutionalized racism. And at the end of apartheid was when Trevor Noah was born. His mother was black, his father was white. And this was not only frowned upon, it was actually illegal. Um, so when Trevor Noah was born, his existence was considered evidence of a crime. Um, fascinating book, wonderful book. Educated by Tara Westover is set in America, and it is from the point of view of a young woman who grows up in an extremely isolated, fundamentalist um, Mormon family. It's very loosely based on um, Mormonism. And her father was in charge of the family. He made all of the decisions and was not to be questioned. The government was not trusted in any way, shape, or form. And that means um, it, that it would extend to public schooling and even going to the hospital um, when somebody had an accident. Maybe the family would go to the hospital if it was 
an extreme emergency, but even then um, that was not accepted. So Tara Westover didn't step foot into a public classroom until she was like in her late teens. And as an older brother who had left her community came back and told her of the outside world, Tara began to get um, more formally educated and a divide widens between her and her family. Disturbing dystopia. Um, I would not have put 1984 on your list, but this was actually a recommendation from students a couple of semesters back. They wanted to read 1984. This is classic literature. Um, the world is quite different, or maybe not so different from our world now. Um, Big Brother is watching. The government um, is extremely controlling in this book. Um, this one's a little bit of a difficult read, but it was student recommended, and it's a future vision um, in which people are not really allowed to have relationships in the way that we think of relationships. And our main character um, begins to get interested in a woman um, that he's not supposed to be interested in. And this is not only a, a bad idea, um, according to the world that he lives in, but he can actually be, um, you know, put to death for, for falling in love with the wrong person. So 1984 is one of your possibilities. True Crime, The Fatal Gift of Beauty is about Amanda Knox, who went to Italy to study. She rented a house with um, a British student and some other young women of her age. And sadly, her roommate, Meredith was brutally murdered, and Amanda Knox was accused of the crime. She and her Italian boyfriend were accused of the crime, um, put on trial. And I, I'm not sure if you all have heard of Amanda Knox or not, um, but it was a huge clash of cultures, um, the American sensibilities versus the Italian sensibilities, and sort of ideas of women. Um, you know, it's pretty much accepted widely that Amanda Knox did not commit the crime. However, she was convicted of the crime and um, spent quite a bit of time in Italian prison. So this one, um, if you're interested in crime, I would recommend that. So those are just a handful of the books that you have to choose from. And the full list is, of course, on your Psych 132 Library Guide. And if you need any help locating your book, either in the library, um, through the ebooks, or you just want to know more about your book, please reach out to me, um, your librarian, Karen Reed, or your instructor. And I do want to tell you that a lot of these books have difficult themes. Um, some include violence, sexual assault, addiction scenes of war, refugee experiences, some have descriptions of self-harm. If you are concerned about your comfort level with any of these topics, if you feel that you have a particular topic that is triggering for you, um, please talk to your instructor about your concerns or talk to me and I can um, kind of tell you how intense a book is, it, it can be hard to judge because every reader is different and every reader comes to a book with different um, experiences of their own. So it's very hard for me to say, you know, what is upsetting to one person is not as upsetting to another. But your instructor and I want you to enjoy this assignment and we really don't want to cause anyone, you know, undue um, distress. So talk to us and we would be very happy to, to guide you. So if you have any questions, there's my email or you can contact me through Canvas. And good luck with your assignment and I hope you can find a wonderful book.